hey guys it's saturday and um today a couple of things is gonna happen um first of all i'm gonna go to the drugstore to get something for my cold sore because after being sick for a week i'm now getting a cold sore so so that is the first thing on my to-do list today after that i'm gonna go to the city where i'm gonna get interviewed for a magazine for the city that i live in i live in Odense, and there should be a new like online magazine coming out called o town and they want to interview me so that's gonna happen and then we'll take the rest of the day the day as it comes so um yeah i'm just getting ready have to see what i'm gonna do with this hair because as i told you guys they took my favorite hair gel at the airport so i have to get a new one what i'm gonna do is i'm going to use some oil this is pretty good oil i'm gonna put some of that in my hair instead now when i don't have the gel there we go don't think it's gonna get any better than that because the cold sore is pretty big and gross <laughs> so that's the hair the makeup and then yesterday, I want to show you this. Yesterday, I went to Plantorama with my mom. And I've been looking <clears throat> at a plant like this for so long. If any of you are wondering, this is the name, apparently. That should be the name of it. So, um, yeah, after looking at one for such a long time, I was looking at it and I really wanted to buy it. And then guess what happened? My mom was like, I think you should buy it. I don't know if that's ever happened before so with the approval from my mom I got it I think it's so beautiful so now I just need a plant for it but I'm actually considering something I think I'm gonna paint my clay pots because I have so hey Bubba hey hi Mufa hey do you want to say hello to the vlog yeah I have so many clay pots and they're all orange and it's not because I have anything against the color but as you can see another clay pot and then one over here I also have one up there it's just clay pots everywhere so therefore I'm actually considering painting them I want to paint them in colors that goes well in my living room so it would be like a dark blue color a burgundy color dark purple you know the colors of my living room and I think that would be a little bit cuter to have them in like different colors, colors instead of all clay. So that's a consideration of mine. If I'm going to do it, I will of course um, film it. So um, yeah, another baby for my plant family. This is my outfit for the day. I'm wearing this vintage dress that I got from an online vintage shop. But I don't remember the name of it. And then I'm going to be wearing my new spring coat. I'm ready to go. And I'm gonna head out now because even though I'm going to be in the city in an hour, like there's an hour from now, I just wanna go by the drugstore and maybe a thrift shop on the way. So let's head out. I'm gonna see you later, boo. So this tiny little one was like $9. <laughs> interview is done and I was almost late just one minute late but it took quite a long time to try on that dress in the thrift shop because I could not decide if I should get it or not I have not bought it and um, because I don't think I'll find the confidence to actually wear it so I thought it would be a waste of money but the interview was almost two hours long and we chatted about so many different things it was really cool really good interview maybe the best one that I've experienced um, so now I am heading home it's just the best weather today I really love it but heading home I would love to go see his ex exhibition I think it's called and I will do he's a photographer this is one of the coolest graffiti projects that we have here in Ulense I think I've shown you it like one million times but it's really really cool I am planning to clean out here today. Look how disgusting it is. So that is 
on my to-do list, but I'm so thirsty. Mm, it smells amazing here. I got hit by a migraine attack. And now I'm heading to bed. Good morning guys. It's Sunday and I am going to go to work in the thrift shop today. Um, wow, yesterday turned out a lot. Um, I just got a migraine. After I got back from the city, from the interview, I just felt really, really horrible. It just got worse and worse and it ended up with me having a migraine and I had to take some pills. As you saw, I drank some pills and lay down, closed my eyes, took a long nap. Um, so those migraine attacks are, are not something that I can really control. If they happen, they happen. And also, uh, my cold sore is getting a little bit better. Slowly getting a little bit better. I look tired today. Just have to wake up. But I thought I would continue the vlog today and take you with me to work in the thrift shop and we'll see how much I'll be able to film. Um, so, good morning. So just quickly before I'm gonna head to work, I promised in my last vlog that I would share with you the few things that I found strange when I was in Berlin. Um, so just before I'm gonna head to work, I'm just gonna share them with you. I wrote them down while we were in Berlin. So number one, there's not that many bikes in Berlin. It was something that both Catherine and I, we noticed. I don't know if it's because your metro system is so well functioning or maybe it's a lot cheaper to use a uh, public transport and all of those things compared to Denmark because we come from a nation where there is like bikes everywhere it's like we are bike country so that was wondering number one like your main transportation is that public transport like metro and train and buses let me know. Two, this was something that when I saw Julianne and mom after I came back, I shared this with them and Julianne was like, yeah, I totally agree. We were wondering the same thing when I was there with school. The bakeries are not like the ones that we have here in Denmark. My vision was that for most of our breakfast meals, we could just find a bakery, buy a bun with some butter on it and then eat that on the go but most of the bakeries that we found or that we could find in Berlin they were cake like they were not selling bread as we do here in Denmark like there's so much bread to choose between and buns and stuff it was cakes so I think we found like one from what I I think I vlogged that didn't I I can't remember but we found like one bakery that looked like a Danish bakery and had a lot of bread to choose between and even when we asked them if they could butter our bread they were like what do you mean <laughs> so um that's strange like the bakeries are not like the ones that we have in Denmark even though we're neighbors three everything's closed on Sundays like on the Sunday that was our last full day in Berlin we just thought we could do exactly the same things as we did on any other day but everything was closed and I know that it was the same in Denmark some like years ago that Sunday was a day where everyone was closed but it's not been like that here for quite some time so we had not thought about the chances that things were going to be closed and that there were things that we couldn't do on a Sunday but it was quite insane like Every single shop, mall, like just supermarkets. That's crazy. Like we can shop anytime pretty much here in Denmark. So um, yeah, Sundays, pretty much everything closed. And number four, you still take a lot of cash payment. Um, as you saw, I brought with me cash and euros. Catherine did not because she expected that the conditions would be exactly like here in Denmark where there is like a lot of places 
where they pretty much don't take cash anymore. Like we are a country where it's the other way around that people would often much prefer getting paid by card or mobile pay or some kind of transfer um, and not cash payment. So that was just like turning it the other way and that was completely unexpected to both of us. Um, so that's super weird uh, considering that yeah, again, we're neighbors, but I don't know. <laughs> that was just strange. So also like on markets, I guess some would say it's obvious that when you go on a market, you have to pay with cash. Not in Denmark. It's not um, normal anymore or like it's not expected that you pay with cash. We have so many like mobile phone, easy ways to uh, transfer money just with a phone number and people use that so much that cash is not, ne not necessary anymore. So um, that was just my few, four few, four, just my four things that we found strange while we were in Berlin. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna head to work. Yeah, I'm back and here for the first time in two weeks because last week was my weekend off. Oh, that's really cool. I love that. It's really big. It's not that expensive. I love it. And then with some like greenery pointing up. I'm going to consider that, I think. Hmm. There might be some new things here and there that I can look at throughout the day. Oh, this one is nice. Look at that, guys. That's very much me. But again, I don't really know where I would put it, but that's super cool. This is also a pretty cool corner of the boutique. Another cool vase. These are also super popular here in Denmark. I don't know about the rest of the world, but these bamboo things for plants. This is really cool because it has glass in this yellow color. Super beautiful. We also sell quite a lot of old cars. <laughs> this is also beautiful. Looked at that before. Really like it. If it was a little bit lower, I could use it for a plant. But it's a little bit high. Yeah. And the man who has this space, he's always trying to sell me a new mirror, like every time I see him. Wow, this is cool. 35. That's really cheap. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. That's so cool. And down here, they have clothes. Sometimes they have some really cool, like, old coats and stuff. That's super awesome. They also have jewelry, as you can see. But that's pretty well done. I have been here for like five minutes. I have also looked at this piece so many times. It's like so beautiful. I really, really like it, but it's like almost $100, like $90, I would say. So it's pretty expensive. It's just so pretty. Uh, yeah, let's, maybe we should stop looking at stuff. Elephants. This one is super cool. Yeah, we're gonna stick to the mirror. And now I'm gonna open the boutique. This is very cute. It's a set. It's also expensive, but it's really cool. I love the fabric. It's like a vest with a skirt. And we're also having a bunch of confirmation clothes, like white clothes, for the parties that are going to happen soon for young people. I have some cute dresses. Oh, this doesn't look that good. But still, some of them are really cute. Fancy. Oh, look at that. My food is now in the fridge and I am pretty much ready to open. So um, I did not film 
that much but you did get to see just a little bit so i'm going to see you guys when i get off work and i'll let you know if i buy a ton of things so see you all in nine hours I think I'll just think about it if this is a little bit too extreme maybe I'll just ask my mom when she comes she's gonna come help me drive um, orders to the post office I don't know if that's too extreme because I could find a smaller pot so hey guys it's Monday I know I did not catch up with you after work yesterday but I was so exhausted after work I had been dealing with migraine Saturday and not that I had a migraine Sunday, but it was still, it has still not left my body completely, so I was a little bit weakened by it. So, um, my mom is gonna come help me drive orders to the post office now, and then I'm gonna jump out and film the rest of a few clips and bits for a video about being active when having dreadlocks. That's the next video that's gonna go up here on my channel. I am also have decided I'm gonna vlog all week. So I hope that you're excited for that. Leave a thumbs up if you are. So we're gonna pack down my stuff now. And I'll just leave the plant there and think about it. And the cold sore is looking a lot better today. I'm sorry that I keep talking about my cold sore, but it's so annoying. But it's looking better. So um, let's head out and film the rest of the clips that I need for this video. I have made it outside and it is a mix of really beautiful and actually pretty cold so I think I should get started I'm going to talk a little bit about some ways that I put up my hair for exercising and then I'm going to shoot some clips of me exercising and um, we're gonna test exercising with a spill log as well so um, I'm gonna get started I need to get rid of my gum There we go. I just filmed a small clip that I just wanted to check if it looked okay. I think it does. So I'm going to continue filming. Boom. And also I'm wearing my sweatshirt, my Star Wars Hogma sweatshirt that I have cropped myself. I've got a little link down below if any of you want to check it out. Um, yeah. I'm gonna film some stuff now. I'm done. I filmed everything that I needed to film, which means that this video that I've been working on for a few days because I've been sick and you know, when you get sick, ooh, it's windy. It's kind of ruining your plans. So I've been working on this for a few days. Now I can finally edit it and upload it. Isn't this just a cool hairstyle? Um, so yeah, I'm excited that I'm done. Look at my mom's flower tree. It's so cute. She actually wanted to like remove it when she moved in here first. But now it's like a thing that we love. It's so gorgeous. And something down here is gonna come out soon. I wonder what's going to happen to these. I think my mom is going to plant that one today. Oops. I just broke it. It's happened to me before. I am back home again. Oh, that cold sore annoys me so much. It looks horrible. But not so long ago, I ordered this dress that I wanted to just see how it looked in real life before ordering ordering it for Wonderlux. So what do you guys think? I think I think it's so cute with this color, this color, and also the color. Um, and yeah, that's the pattern. Then it has an elastic here. So yeah, let me know down below what you guys think. And um, I'm gonna get changed back to some sportswear because I'm gonna go to badminton in a few hours And now I'm just going to replant a plant before then mm. 
just going to make a few of these before I'm gonna head to badminton. They're so good. I really like these. Look at this beautiful sunset light in the living room. I love it. And I am all ready to go to badminton. It's been a long time since I've been wearing so much clothes. I'm wearing a skirt underneath all of this and um, wearing the Wonderlock sweatshirt that I had made super soft at the inside. And yeah, I have not been to practice for two months. So this can go very, very wrong if I'm unlucky. Uh, I will let you know when I get back. And also I can't wait for the shower I'm gonna take tonight because I have not washed my hair for, I don't know, five days or something. It's been quite a long time and um, I really just look forward to washing it all. So yeah, I'm gonna go. And also I just put on some black mascara. No, not black, blue mascara. Um, just because I thought it would look cool for my t-shirt. I'm like that. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna see you all in two hours or so. Oh, okay, I'm back home from practice. It was tough. And I think I've pulled something in my foot that hurts. And I am a little bit nervous. I think it's gonna hurt a lot tomorrow, like a lot, lot. Um, because on the way home, on the bike, I could already feel it coming because it's pretty cold outside. So um, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm going to take a shower and end the vlog here. It was actually nice to get moving again. Like exercise is so good for your mental health. It's just how it is. And also, where is that? Where is she? She's just been here. I'm just filming something about washing dreadlocks for another video. So uh, yeah, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this vlog. And um, I'm going to begin a new vlog tomorrow, Tuesday. So yeah, hope that you enjoyed the weekend vlog with Monday. And I'm going to see you all in the next one. Bye guys.